Start this design up by painting all of your nails with one coat of white nail polish. You will also need a sponge so you can create a fading effect on your nails. And I'm going to be using uh, these three colors. You can, of course, choose your favorite colors for this design. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up around my cuticle with a cotton swab and some nail polish remover. And I'm going to do that and I will be right back to continue with my design. Next I'm going to be using Stamping Plate CK1 and I will have the information in the description bar below. And I will be using this image and this image right here. Now I want to show you, if the image does not fit on the entire nail, usually what I do is just hold it on the slant and then just roll it on. That way you still get part of the image and the design doesn't look quite as unnatural. So as you can see on my pinky, it fit completely. And here I chose to do just part of it and here it is on a wider nail bed. And for my thumbnail, I'm actually going to use this image right here because I think that the uh, surrounding area will probably cover the nail a little bit better. You could use this one, but I'm going to try using this one. And so as you can see on the thumbnail, the image was slightly too small, so I stamped it on twice and just partially um, the second one that way they kind of just fit together a little bit and you don't leave all this extra empty space up here but um, yeah that's the one thing I do wish about the CK stamping plates is I wish that they were a little bit wider to fit the nail um, especially wider nail plates like mine on the thumbnails and middle fingers but you can totally make it work and as you can see I made mine work so I'm going to go ahead and top coat and I will come back to show you guys the end result. I'm going to add the nails a little bit of extra pop and I'm going to apply a few dots of nail polish on some of the bare spots here on my nails as you can see and I'm going to use a very fine tip dotting tool. And here is your complete design once I've top coated and as you can see that little dots added a little bit of extra pop into the design. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this easy nail stamping tutorial and thank you so much for watching, subscribing and commenting if you have. Don't forget to check out my other stamping nail designs in my playlist and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye for now.